hi guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well today's video is just gonna be a quick styling video and i thought i'd kind of do a style through the week so i'm gonna do five different outfits to kind of take you through the week starting from a working day and then i'll transition that through to after work drinks if you want to go from one to the other but don't have time to probably go home and get changed i'm going to show you how to transition that and then I'm gonna do a bit more of a casual look, maybe if you work from home or just have a day off maybe and are just very casual and around the house kind of thing. And then I'm gonna do like a weekend look, so if you're going out for brunch or shopping or something like that in the daytime. Finally, I'm going to do a dressy night out if you're going out on a date or if you're going out with the girls or something like that, I'm gonna show you a bit more of a glam dressed up outfit. So hopefully it'll take you from one end of the week right through to the other. So it's something a little bit different. I thought I'd try it out. Let me know your thoughts. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and go and follow me on Instagram as well. My handle is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson and I will leave it below. So let's get cracking into the video. So for outfit number one, we have workwear. I mean, you can't go wrong for work with some simple black trousers, especially this kind of high-waisted pair. These are from H&M, they're so, so comfortable. I've already got so much wear out of them. They look perfect at the weekends with trainers because they're a slightly more relaxed shape. Um, but also work really well for work. And then I put on my Gucci loafers with it, but I mean any loafers would kind of work with this, especially in a neutral shade. And I think loafers are so, so handy for work. And then I popped it with my new Zara blazer. This was $69.99 from New Season Collection. And it's got a nice kind of brownie shade running all the way through it as well. And this Zara cutaway shirt with the nice collar here. And what I like about this is it's quite subtle because of the shades and tones that I've used, but also it still has those elements of fashion. So if you do have to dress quite smartly for work um, and need to wear like a shirt or something like that, get one with this cutaway detail because it instantly looks a bit more fashionable and on trend. And equally, as it gets even a little bit colder, you can layer this with a jump around neck jumper underneath sorry, over the top of the shirt so you can see the collar poking out. And then this blazer is just so versatile. Again, I think this looks great at the weekends too with some trainers and jeans and a bit more dress down. So all of these pieces, I think you can easily separate and wear for lots of different occasions, not just work. And then I'm gonna pop it just with this Gucci bag, a plain big black bag for work. It's perfect. I mean, I wouldn't say this is big, this is like a medium sized bag. It just goes really well. This is quite old now, but I'll do my best to find a similar. But yeah, this is just a really classic work look that you can kind of actually, you could easily wear this through the week so you can alternate between the trousers, wear them with a different top, the blouse, wear it with different trousers, blazer, wear it with the different underneath parts. So yeah, I think this is a really wearable look. So I'm gonna show you now how I transform this into um, an after works drinks kind of look. So next, I've basically created a completely different outfit just by using accessories alone. So I've taken off the jacket, Replace the bag with this one from Pixie Market, which is so, so cute. And it's got that kind of on-trend uh, chain print thing going on. So yeah, this is a really cute little bag to pop with it. And then I've got my huge statement earrings from Zara. These are last year, but I will find something very similar if I can. And then my Zara shoes, which I think are sold out, but I will try and link, I'll link those if there are any left in stock. And I'll also link a similar pair if I can find them. So yeah, this is just how you would dress it. I've taken my hair down as well, so it's less formal. I think it's nice to have your hair back for work. It's quite neat and efficient looking and looks instantly smarter. And then pop it down for the evening, add the big earrings, add a heel and a different bag, and you are good to go. And even if you wanted to still wear this look, another way to work that from work to after work kind of look is by keeping the blazer on, maybe adding some jeans instead and the heels. And again, you're a bit more dressed up and a bit more casual instantly so yeah this is how i do a day to night during the week look so now i've got on just this really comfy cozy outfit 
for those chill days where you want to look quite nice and put together but just still really comfy and casual. I work from home so this is kind of a perfect look for me. I know I can nip out or answer the door and not be totally ashamed or embarrassed and also it's just a nice kind of weekend look too or a day off kind of look. So I've got on this knit from Naked Fashion which I featured in a recent haul. What I like about this is that it's not just a plain knit, it's got the shoulder detail and the puff sleeves and the arm detail here and I think that makes all the difference. Go for pieces that are casual and comfy but also just have something a little bit extra to them. And then I've got these jeans on. These are new jeans from Mango. I think they're called The Grace and they've got them in loads of different colours. They are so comfy, so stretchy as well. That is great. They fit pretty well. I'd say they are really comfy. I'm between an 8 and a 10 I'd say and I got the 10 um, which fits feel great I probably wouldn't have fit into the eight so a little bit loose but that's nice that's that's better than them being too tight I hate too tight jeans but yeah they do them in loads of colours as well loads of different shades blacks darker shades of navy lighter wash etc so definitely worth getting your hands on a pair of these and then my Gucci loafers. Oh, and these old glasses. These are just from Shein, and I got them for a bit of fun, but I think they kind of go with this look. I probably wouldn't wear them if I'm sat around the house, but I just wanted to kind of complete the look with a little accessory. All right, I've got these Gucci loafers on, but you will see me in these a lot, and I don't want to be one of those people that only wear things um, that are new or different or something you've not seen before each time. I want to actually show you that I do get wear out of all of my wardrobe and I'm not just buying pieces for the sake of it. These shoes I will wear to death and do go with everything so I am going to show you that and show you me wearing them. And I'm not saying go out and buy the Gucci loafers, I'm just saying that's why you'll see me in them a lot and show how versatile they are. And if you're looking for these or something similar, then definitely recommend this kind of style and colour. So yeah, this is just my casual off-duty look. So next is a bit more of my weekend look. So if you want to look smart, casual, you might be going out shopping or out for brunch, lunch, something like that. And you want to look nice but not too dressy. Um, this. I think is a really good outfit. So Naked Fashion, love the trousers, but Mango do a really similar pair. And I think these are out of stock, so I'll link the Mango ones if they're not out of stock either. I got this Mango sweater as well, which was 19 99 and I think a really good purchase. It's slightly cropped too, which gives it a bit more of that casual look and perfect to wear with leather trousers like these, especially if they're a bit more high-waisted. My Saint Laurent bag and then my old nasty old trench coat but i'll link an alternative and then these boots from mango which are new in i'd say they're pretty much true to size i probably could do with a six and a half and these are six I'm gonna battle through the pain but uh yeah i really like this overall look and i think the snake skin just adds a little bit of something extra and i think if you did want to change it a little bit make it a bit more smart then pop a blazer on instead of the trench coat. But I love this look, such a good weekend casual outfit. And then finally, we've got our Saturday night, Friday night, out on the town kind of outfit. So this is quite dressy. So maybe even pair it with the leather trousers that I've had on or, or some jeans even to dress it down a little bit more. But there are ways you can dress this up and down depending on what kind of style you're going for. I've got on this beautiful blouse from Zara. It's got the puff sleeves, organza, and this gorgeous powdery blue shade and nice high neck. It's everything I love in a top. I love this colour. I love the puff sleeves and the um, tighter at the bottom. I love the high neck and slightly cropped as well. So that makes it perfect to wear with high-waisted trousers, which is what I normally go for. And it was 25 99 as well, so absolute bargain. I've got these old trousers on, which are actually from Primark, um, and I'll try and find some similar if I can. My Zara strappy sandals, which I had on before, again, I'll try and find some similar if these aren't available. This little cute pixie market bag, which I absolutely love. I just think it's adorable. And also really dresses up an outfit too. So if you are wearing more jeans with this kind of look, this looks quite dressy. And then 
at these earrings. So these are last year Zara. They've got like the diamond hit and pearl in to tie it all together. But I just think this is such a pretty look. It's very feminine without being like florally, which I think is a good thing because I don't always like wearing head to toe florals and you can easily get your wear again out of all of these pieces separately. But this is the final look. I think probably my favorite look as well. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. So I will see you, hopefully, in my next video. Bye.